Morning folks, we just finished our fifth panel this morning. We just finished building that. We can build two more full length ones and then the rest, um, they're gonna have to be 10, 10 inches shorter or so, or maybe 20 inches shorter, I'm not sure here. I'm gonna figure out. 20 inches shorter. So I have two built there. Normally they take three full ones, but the last one's gonna have to be about 20 inches shorter, but I will measure that to make sure. So, it usually takes three, three there, three full ones, but since they're gonna be 10 inches on either side, we're gonna lose at least 20 inches. So you have our OSB to minus as well, so two 716s OSB plus uh, 10 inches, so. Anyways, we'll have, uh, we can build two full ones for here, three full ones for here, two full ones for here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven all together. So we have five made, so we can make two more at the full eight foot length, and then that one has to be, so these two, they're gonna be 10 inches shorter. There's gonna be one here that's gonna be 10 inches shorter of the four foot, because it takes three eight footers, and then a four foot, which is 28 feet. And uh, then in here, we're gonna need, uh, it takes three full ones, but we're only gonna cut two full ones, that'll be 10 inches shorter. That'll be 10 inches shorter than the four foot as well. So that top board, and that top board is just gonna get dropped down and we're gonna use it on there as well. So we are gonna have to cut some OSB, but that's not really a big deal, I guess. Not too bad. Or I can just hang the OSB out a little further and build it in there. Not sure if I'm gonna do it that way. But we are going to get this set up in place uh, very shortly. We are going to mill the rest for what we need. And it's bloody hot again today, folks. It was, uh, it, when we went in for lunch a little while ago, it's already showing, I guess it's not that bad, it's 25 degrees. But uh, that sun feels really hot beating down on us. So we're not gonna be pushing at it too fast today, kind of just like yesterday. That was a long video yesterday, I know folks, and I'm sorry it was up late, but it took a long time to upload. I added that right through until about 1.30 this morning before I got to bed. So I'm a little on the slow today, slow side today, because I am so tired, but uh, Heather's there all ready to roll. <laughs> She's all in her work gear. <laughs> we just built these, like I say, this morning, we built four of them. Uh, we had one built from yesterday, you've seen that. So four this morning, and we had company so we're going to get at that again. All right, folks, well, we got the other two panels built, the short panels, uh, the full panels, I mean. So now we just have to staple our plastic up like we've been doing, trying to do this quit on me today. It used to work good when I got it years ago, and now, ah, yep, so scrap. I got one of those. I've never had one before. I don't even know if I've ever used one before. I kind of think I have years ago. Not really sure, but it's a good day when a guy can get another new tool. <laughs> it's just too bad the other one crapped out on us, but oh well. So that's what I got. Heavy duty, heavy duty hammer. Oh, can't read that. Heavy duty hammer tacker. It takes the uh, standard uh, T 50 quarter to 916s. I'm not exactly sure the size of staples I bought. I think I put them in here, did I not, Heather? I think so, yeah. I sure did. They're half inch. So I'm going to load this up. Heather, you've never used one of these, you said. I have eh? not. Well, and you're a little intimidated. You're not sure if you'd be able to use one, you said. I'm not sure I'd be very accurate with it, but we'll see. I'll stand across the room when you test it. As you should. <laughs> now, with that said, I'll probably nail myself in the leg. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, this. Oh, well, look at that, eh? Should be able to load this. Well, this one here was on the ground from today. So if I'm correct, that slides in there. Does that seem right? Well, that seem weird. No. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Although it's funny. 
people are probably going, this guy's clueless. Yes, I am. See the shirt? No. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I, I feel bad because I was like, wow, that holds a lot too. Like, I wasn't even thinking, I wasn't, I can't really laugh at you. Like, I am, but I really shouldn't. Yeah, you were laughing. Yeah. I really shouldn't <laughs> because I wasn't any better. Hmm. Yeah, you were clearly laughing. Yeah, I know. I was. Hey, maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's in there. Let me see. Does it work? Ooh. Oh, yeah, see? You gotta really hit it hard to watch. Oh! <laughs> yeah. But the handle should have had a curve. I don't like that. Like, to get it flat, that's not doing it either. That's not going that flat in OSB. Like. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, but I'm really, uh, I'm really tacking up that OSB quickly. You gotta hit her good. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? Hey. I'm gonna let you test this in a second here. I'm not gonna go too much. Here, that one there that went in there. Try that. Give that a shot. Just a minute. I'll step back across the room here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just wait. Oh, over there. Uh, over where we didn't do it, yeah. Just a minute here. I wanna see. Okay, give it a good shot. Okay, don't knock the wall over. A little harder. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? I know. Are you okay? You can't hold it on a bit of an angle. <laughs> bit of an angle. Don't 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 hit it flat. You don't have to, I don't think. <laughs> oh, careful now. Careful. Geez, it's not a hammer. Well it is. It's a, oh, it okay, it's but a hammer. Let me thing? see here. I'm not sure either, but look at I don't think you have to hit it that hard, do you? No, just try it like that. Just go normal. No. Oh, hey. No. Okay. You broke it! <laughs> I think it's out of staples. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I <He> almost <laughs> broke it. <laughs> there, oh, no. see? Okay, oh, okay. No. Well, well, you're not hitting it flat enough. I'm afraid of hitting my fingers, that's all. I don't believe you. Okay, that worked. Yeah. You got it. Okay, now I want to use those studs again. That's hard on. <laughs> Starting to look like those telephone poles in town, you know, those hydro poles? Where they, where they put up posters all the time. <coughs> but nobody ever takes the staples out? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's probably how this will be. <laughs> nobody will take the staples out. I'm sorry. That's okay. If you can hold this, we're going to set this. We're going to set this on the tripod. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> I was no better, so I can't say anything. I was going to put no, the staples in the better. wrong way. <laughs> you're much better. No, but loading the staples, though, I was going to put them in the back somewhere, so... Mm. Yeah. Pretty sure yeah, that... Yeah, but I, I also thought that's where they went, too, so... Yeah, well... We're going to set this here. It's actually fairly late, folks, but I realized... I didn't have any content up for, for tomorrow, so I thought I would come and give this a shot, and I'll show you how we're going to put this up. We'll see how long this staple gun. This is heavy duty, but I think we should have got the extreme duty one. <laughs> oh, okay, so the extreme duty. Can I let that down a bit? I'm just gonna do this. There. How's that? It's not really sticking it in. That's better. Yeah, I can't say I'm a particular fan of that. Well, at least it puts the staples in. The other one wasn't doing it at all. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's not really doing it. I used a lot in the telephone pole. What? Well, used a lot too. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to really have to see how that comes apart. Yeah, it's out. Wow, we blew through those quick. <laughs> but it, it was only a little bit I put in there. So. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's in there good too, don't you? 
I like it. That is good, isn't it? Not rip the plastic. <laughs> like it better? I don't know. I wouldn't use it for stapling, uh, you know, photos or something up in the house wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Especially not on a window frame. It's okay, I guess. In case you miss. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it did give me a hurt. <laughs> yeah, well. In harder. Lay one over top of it. Yeah, I don't want when I when I did it harder before. I'm, I'm I don't want to hit my finger. Again. Try it again. No, just hold it on an angle. It doesn't have to be held flat. See, watch. It doesn't have to be held flat. I don't think so. You can do it like this. Watch. See? Oh. Careful! Careful! What? <laughs> Careful, in case you miss and hit your fingers. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, on an angle. That way you don't whack your fingers. In. Yeah. I'm going to put some in up here. Before these blow off. Right? Much faster than the other one, eh? That other one was a joke. Because it would staple one in and jam. It was good before. When it was new. It was new. I like if I had to choose, I liked the one from before. If it like when it was new compared to that. Good thing you don't have to choose, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will go much faster. I think so. It'll go in the house. But it's a good thing because I don't do much stable anyway. It'll go in the house. Anyways, folks, that's all we got for you this evening. I'll show you what the panels look like. Can you hold that, babe, please? And we'll put the staples away. I'll help you with that. So here's what we got going so far. We got this panel built. What's that, Heather? Oh, I thought you said something. No, I, I crumpled. Oh, okay, sorry. Plastic. Maybe I thought it was food. Maybe that's why I said, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> plastic crumpling. Thought you were calling me for food. Are <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I have that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven built today. That's what we got. Now the rest are going to be short ones. So we're going to staple all the plastic on here tomorrow. <clears throat> we're going to go around the outside tomorrow and just put uh, pieces in here so, so it doesn't give way. I don't think it's gonna, I think that's pretty sturdy, but I don't want to take a chance. On the corners, I'm just gonna put a piece of uh, two by four in the corner so it don't, don't pop out. We'll staple the plastic all the way around and we'll staple plastic on these forms before we stand them up. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and we're gonna let it overlap a little bit too onto the next form if we can. That way it, uh, uh, that way there's no seams for it to leak through. But if it does, it doesn't really matter either, I guess. Once that's done, we're going to build our forms that the concrete don't get into. And I'm gonna do like Bert said too. I'm gonna leave it up a little bit off the ground so uh, 
concrete can floor in there so we have it like a step already a step there built in <clears throat> to step up so anyways that's how it's looking we were going great today and it was super bloody warm like i thought it was super bloody warm most of you folks may not think that but, but for us it was pretty warm out here the sun was brutal and uh anyways yeah we got that just about all all stapled just tonight you've seen that so we cut that cut that four feet high and then we used it over here so now we'll run another strip we'll cut the top off and we'll use the other strip for here and that's uh how it will go it'll either go or it won't and these panels hey somebody made some good suggestions too i forget who it was but whoever it was thank you you know what i'm going to use these panels for right in that building over there about halfway up the wall of our pole building to put my snowmobiles on I'll have some down on the ground to park my snow machines on and then I'll lift some up for shells and I can park a snowmobile or two right like a snowmobile on each one of them. So I have seven full ones. So that's enough for at least seven of my old snowmobiles, the ones I want to keep that are in good shape that I'm going to eventually paint and fix up and you know how it goes. Men dreams that sometimes don't always get done, but that's my my idea. Um but they'll right, work great for shells. I won't even take them apart. We'll just paint them and uh, put put them uh, a shelving. So now we're, it's we're supposed to have two or three days worth of really nice weather with no rain. One thing I want to do is get up there with a string line too and run a string line along the inside. And I want to pull the wall in or out and put a piece of board on the top to hold it straight once it goes there. Once it goes straight, I'll do that all the way around on three on all the all the walls here. I'll put a string line on the inside, make sure it's straight. And then we're going to clean this all up in here where the concrete goes. I'll vacuum it, sweep it, whatever I gotta do. Uh, so that when we pour our concrete, there's no dirt or anything under there and it will seal pretty good. So I guess that's about it, it for this evening, folks. Uh, you take care and uh, we'll talk to you another time. Bye bye.